Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. There's a lot of talk here online. On Twitter, on uh, YouTube, about who is better who has done more right Floyd Mayweather or Bernard Hopkins right the argument is interesting too because many people here online think Hopkins has a chance to beat Sergei Kovalev so given that Hopkins has already beaten right Antonio Tarver Right, a legitimate light heavyweight champion, right? Tavares Cloud, who held the belt, Babu Chumanov, who had a share of the belt, right? If he were to beat Kovalev, especially at his age, right, 49 years old, uh, especially given that this is Hopkins' second career, because he was a dominant middleweight champion who beat people like Felix Trinidad, gave Trinidad his first loss. He beat Oscar De La Hoya, and De La Hoya back in the day was a whirlwind, right? Um, people are saying, hey, maybe Hopkins has had the better career than Floyd Mayweather. Now, let me say this. Right, the question of who is better, I think the answer is clearly Floyd Mayweather. Right, it's a different question when you're asking who has had the better career, meaning the more historical career. Because what Bernard Hopkins is doing at his age is really unprecedented. Right? I'll agree, that will be mentioned years from now, especially if nobody else is out there taming young lions at 49 years old. Right? 20 years from now. Understand, what Hopkins is doing is so preposterous that, you know, Vladimir Klitschko would have to be beating young lions more than a decade from now to be able to say, hey, I'm doing some of the things that Bernard Hopkins has done. But understand, life's unfair. Bernard Hopkins is a overachieving technician. He's an overachiever. Bernard Hopkins is the guy who can run a 4-6, right, figuratively, not a 4-4, right? He's never been the athlete that Floyd Mayweather is. Understand, you know, life's unfair. I see LeBron James, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with this next statement. I see LeBron James losing weight and stuff like that. You know what? Michael Jordan could have been out smoking cigars, um, hanging out with several mistresses in different cities, staying up late, gambling, playing card games with teammates, He's still the best basketball player I've seen, right? I mean, you know, LeBron is a much harder worker than MJ. He's not MJ, right? There's a part of life, there's a part of sports where some guys just have the athleticism. They can throw the 100-mile-an-hour fastball. Other guys can work at that skill 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and that fastball won't get up to 100 miles an hour, right? Whatever you think of Roger Clemens, right? Roger Clemens is, you know, uh, controversial, right? People, uh, some people don't believe he's a role model. Let's at least acknowledge that whatever Roger Clemens' private life, right? I think he was supposed to have been involved with a country singer. I won't say her name and stuff like that. Clemens could get the ball up around 100 miles an hour. So, too, it is in boxing. Floyd is a better athlete than Bernard, moves faster than Bernard, has the better feet. 
throws the faster punches. Right? Put another way, take a look at CompuBox numbers. Now understand, both guys are older than the average fighter. Right? Marvin Hagler was out the game at 32. That was five years ago for Floyd or something like that. Right? But understand, even today, the most dominant fighter in the sport of boxing, according to CompuBox, the guy who lands the highest percentage of his punches and causes the opponent to land percentage-wise the lowest percentage of punches, right, gap-wise, is Floyd Mayweather. Right. Let me also point out, too, I know we're talking about Bernard Hopkins taming a lot of young lions. Right? Sergei Kovalev has never made it to the ninth round of a fight. Right? Now, we'll see whether Hopkins can tame him. He's in the front view. But understand, Babu Chuminov, as I make this video, I don't think has had 20 pro fights. Right? What Bernard Hopkins is doing is a compliment to him, but it's also an indictment on the shape of the light heavyweight division. Now look at the guys Floyd is fighting, right? I mean, <laughs> let's just say most of the guys Floyd is fighting have fought more than eight rounds in a fight, right? Most of the guys Floyd is fighting have had more than 20 pro fights. Right? The people claiming that Floyd hasn't fought anybody seem to be forgetting the hype that some of his opponents had before he fought them. I can tell you, just keeping track of things here online, that there have been several fights where Oscar De La Hoya has predicted that Floyd is going to lose. And Floyd keeps winning fight after fight. So really the difference between the two men is that Hopkins has a technique, right? He has the technique. He, you know, knows how to frustrate young fighters, right? He's excellent defensively. He knows how to avoid getting hit with big punches. But understand, Floyd Mayweather has all of that, and he marries it with hand speed when he needs it. Right? He marries it with a better body attack than Bernard Hopkins has. Right? That Mayweather, left hook to the body, it's devastating. Right? It's devastating. Neither Floyd nor Bernard Hopkins is an outsized puncher. But understand, when Mayweather's on his game and he's landing flush, visually, it's on a level above and beyond Bernard's work. Right? And while it's true that Mayweather has been in the ring with some guys who have had faster hand speed than him, Right? Think Zab Judah. I thought Judah clearly in that fight had faster hand speed than Floyd. Floyd has never been in the ring where there's been a hand speed gap remotely on par with the hand speed gap that existed in the Hopkins Joe Calzaghe fight. Right? Calzaghe was much faster. I mean, much faster. Right? Understand, too, that when Floyd Mayweather is fouled in a fight, like he was the Marcus Maidana fight, while he'll talk to the ref about it, he continues fighting. It's a rare fight where Floyd looks like he's taking time off, right? Calling for time and stuff like that. I want you to look at the replay of the Joe Calzaghe video. I want you to look at the replay of the Roy Jones rematch against Bernard Hopkins. There have been some fights where Bernard Hopkins looks like he's strategically using the rules 
to his benefit, right? I mean, we've all played sports where we've been hit in the wrong spot below the belt, and it's been painful. But I have to say, it looked to me like Joe Calzaghe barely brushed Bernard Hopkins. I thought Hopkins was tiring at that moment in the fight and, quite frankly, needed the break, right? I don't see shortcuts like that in the Mayweather record, right? I simply don't, right? So, to me, Mayweather's really a Jordan-type figure. Right? Uh, you know, understand with Jordan, Jordan's really a Montana type figure. Right? Think about it. Montana, four Super Bowl wins, no picks in any Super Bowl. Right? Jordan, six NBA titles. Understand, Jordan was never forced to a game seven in any NBA final. And when you think about Floyd Mayweather, I'll just say this. Even the fights where a judge, curiously, scores it a draw, like the Canelo fight. I believe most people at ringside know Mayweather won that fight by several rounds. Understand Mayweather's body of work, too. He's never fought at middleweight. But yet he beat the current middleweight champion, Miguel Cotto. I believe that was by unanimous decision. I'm telling you, if you look at that 12th round again, it looks to me like Floyd could have stopped Cotto. Certainly, Floyd wasn't the one in trouble in that 12th round. Right? So, I'll agree. Hopkins has done things nobody else has done. He surpassed anything Archie Moore has done, except Moore's punching power, right? We'll give Moore that, right? Hopkins, too, I'm not kidding when I say he is one of history's dominant middleweight champions, and right now he's really signing his name on the light heavyweight division. I'm not kidding when I say I believe he could go out there and beat Adonis Stevenson. Keep in mind, he's already beaten Jean Pascal, to go with Tarver, to go with Cloud, to go with Babel Chumanoff, right? The fact that any man can do that, you know, 10 to 15 years older than most of the elite fighters in the sport is simply astonishing. But just like LeBron is not Jordan, right? <laughs> you know, People over 40 watching this video know what I'm talking about, right? If you want to see numbers, just look up the numbers. Jordan's just the better athlete. Just like LeBron is not Jordan, Hopkins is not Mayweather, right? Mayweather is the guy who you look at to see how it should be done, right? To see the standard. Right? It's like, if I want to see a fast 100 meters, I'm going to look up Usain Bolt films. Right Now, that doesn't mean that Jesse Owens and Carl Lewis and a bunch of other guys, Ben Johnson, um, you know, weren't great 100-meter guys. Right? Mo Green. It's just that when I want to see the standard, it's Usain Bolt. I think in the sport of boxing, the standard is the unbeaten current welterweight champion, Floyd Mayweather. Right? Bernard Hopkins has had a great career. Mayweather's the better athlete with the faster hand speed who marries athleticism with technique. That's why the CompuBox numbers for his fight are what they are. Understand, nobody else. Andre Ward, right? Guillermo de Gundio. Nobody else has Mayweather's compu box numbers. Nobody. Bernard Hopkins. Nobody. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.